So I have a very, very specific type of uh, way that I measure and treat activities that I want to think about integrating or not integrating into my life. When I have um, something that I consider potentially adding, I'll always ask myself the simple question that will allow me to know whether this is something good or something bad. And you can use this yourself. It works really, really well. What I simply do is ask myself, if I do this activity or this thing on a daily basis uh, for 10 years, what are the net changes that will occur in my life? So for example, uh, there's this coffee can that I'm so addicted to. I drink it every day. It's called Master Cafe, Master Coffee, something. I drink it every single day. Now, I know about nutrition, I know about the ingredients, and there's nothing, I checked it, of course, many times, and there's nothing weird there, it's just water, coffee, and uh, about 2%, maybe 1% powder milk. So as, as a vegan, that's like the only thing that I consume that's not perfectly vegan um, but again it's not like you know 20% milk or something it's 1% milk powder I'm not you know it's okay for me so <clears throat> I um, I ask myself okay what's happened what will happen if I do this every single day for 10 years well I'm going to add about 200 calories to my weight to my daily calorie intake which is not so bad and I'm also going to have a bit more high energy since uh, it's caffeine. Um, and I don't drink other milk, other uh, coffee. So that's it. So, okay, perfectly fine. Uh, the, net, the net benefits are maybe minus 0.5% in my you know, long, long, long-term lifestyle. Okay, no problem. <laughs> that's like my worst habit. Now, what other habits do I have? Um, I work out every day. You know, what are the net habits of that if I do that every day for a year? Well, pretty damn good. I also meditate every day. I read every day. I make the five videos every day. I coach every day. I, um, I increase my Instagram every day. I, uh, ma I make sure to never uh, ignore people who contact me every day and always contact them back. So I have, so I have many, many habits that I do on a daily basis and I simply ask myself, uh, if I keep doing this, what is the net benefit if I do this every single day? And I had a discussion about this with a good friend of mine uh, about things like weed, for example. So I don't drink alcohol at all, and I don't smoke weed at all. So no drugs, no drugs and no alcohol, although uh, the fact that people don't call alcohol as a drug is kind of a joke, but just for the sake of argument. Um, so I don't drink or smoke at all. And he asked me like, you know, what about alcohol? So I told him, look, uh, it's been proven, medically proven that if you drink, you know, just half, like a couple of sips of red wine every day, uh, will actually lower your chances of heart, of a heart attack, heart attack, sorry, uh, heart attack by about 15%, uh, which is good. That's a net gain, you know? It's a really good net gain uh, without probably any downsides. Um, now, what happens if you drink, you know, a bottle of wine or a bottle of, of uh, beer or a big glass of uh, uh, rum or something? You know, that, that's not gonna be good for you. That's gonna be pretty damn bad in the long term because uh, you're going to turn into a, an alcoholic. You know, your alcohol gets into your system, you get addicted to it. Um, it's, not a, it's not a game. You won't find people who drink every day. and <laughs> you, you, There's no correlation between drinking and success, maybe an inverse correla correlation. And there's a reason that almost no uh, famous actor or famous CEO uh, drinks. Uh, they vow to not drink at all. Again, it's, you need that focus. Then he asks, okay, what about weed? So I ask him, okay, what happens to you when you smoke weed? He tells me, well, I, uh, I get, um, I lose 
the, the, the focus that I have, I get less focused the next day. My memory isn't as good. And I'm just kind of off a bit. So I ask, okay, take, I tell him, take that, multiply it by fucking 10, and that's how you're gonna feel daily, 10 years from now, if you smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. Never mind. Uh, so, you know, he realized it's not a positive gain, even if it's sometimes enjoyable. So I told him, look, it doesn't matter what happens while you enjoy the high. It happens what it's what's what happens between the highs that matters. You know, everybody has the high. Don't worry during the high. Worry about the low. So, in life, uh, really use this indicator this this tool of identifying what you want to keep and what you want to take away by using I call it the power of infinity like just multiply it by you know many many years of doing it consistently so not only you know a long time but also doing it very very often because something good uh, the more you do it the better like the more you work out the better the more you meditate the better obviously there is a certain limit on it you know but Let's not get down to like stupid arguments, okay? Uh, everybody knows when it's too much, okay? There's no fucking doubt about it. Even e eating healthy food, but too much of it is bad. So don't be a fucking idiot. You know, stick with a uh, common sense. But anything that you do daily uh, and it's bad, then even if you do it once in a while, it's still bad. Because they're like, oh, I do it moderately or something. It still makes it bad. Um, so the good things in your life are the things that you can do every day and will give you a net gain. And the bad things are the things you do every day and will give you a net loss in quality of uh, you know everything related to your life. Just important that you know that. And uh, I made sure in my life that I don't have anything that is not either neutral or positive because I have an addictive personality. I get addicted and obsessed about things. I have to be obsessed about something. I can't not be obsessed about something. I'm always addicted to something, but I can always choose what I'm addicted to, what I'm obsessed at. So I don't do moderation. So if I do the habits, it's habits all the way, and that's my obsession, that's my addiction. Uh, if I do weed, even once a week, uh, it's gonna turn within like a couple of days to a, a daily obsession, because I have to be obsessed. I don't do moderate. So I can't risk, I can't afford to have any habit which is not new, which is negative, because if I happen to start doing it obsessively, which will probably happen sooner or later, I'm gonna have a very negative uh, net loss in uh, my life. So because I limit the options of what I have in my life to only positive things, I can keep being who I am. I can keep being obsessed and, and a maniac. And I know that the things I'm obsessed with, you know, it's like, oh, today I'm gonna meditate like crazy. Today I'm gonna work out like crazy. Today I'm gonna eat healthy like crazy. Today I'm gonna make crazy videos. Today I'm gonna write a lot. Like, that's a negain on anything. You know, it's productive. It improves the quality of my life. So, you know, I choose, I chose to dumb it down. I want order, I want consistency. I want everything to be predictable uh, because I just don't do well when it's unpredictable. I don't, I don't, you know, I'll be honest. I don't trust myself. I don't trust myself to be disciplined when I don't have order. And if you can, you know, good for you, but I can't. And if you're watching this, you probably can't because if you like my shit, you know, there's a good chance you're also a maniac. So simply remove all things that, you know, once you multiply them, like, okay, what happens if I do this daily for 10 years? And you find, you know, you find out it's a net loss. So just remove them, keep only the positive, add more positives, you know, if you're not working out, add that, if you're not meditating, add that. Even one minute a day, it doesn't matter, add, add it, you know? And dude, you're gonna be amazing, like you're gonna be a maniac on fire 
constantly improving, constantly growing, constantly expanding. You know, it's a good life. It's a good life, man. So I don't have worries. I don't have stress. I'm always growing. I'm always being productive. I love it. And it doesn't take any effort. It takes the same amount of effort for me to be unproductive and lazy as it does to be productive and uh, happy. This is how I do it. So um, let me know if this concept makes perfect sense to you. Let me know if you need any help with it. I always send an open arms invitation to anybody watching my videos. Let me know if you need help. Send me an email or something. I always answer my emails. I don't miss a single one. Um, unless it's like a really dumb email. <laughs> but but if you just write down like, Hey Robbie, I need help with this or that. Or I want, I want, I want you to coach me or something. There's no way I'm not replying. Um, yeah, let me know if you need help. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. And uh, three, three more videos for the day. So I guess I'll see you soon.